Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Monday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. In yesterday's video, I made mention of a man, 31 year old man, who was shot and killed by the police in Bellas Gate, Old Harbor, St. Catherine during a confrontation on Saturday afternoon. Now in yesterday's video, I made mention of the article that was posted by the Jamaica Gleaner. So, I'm going to make one correction to the Jamaica Gleaner article. His name is Gervani Dunkley, not Gervani Dunkley. Now I'm going to read about the article that the Jamaica Gleaner posted and then I go into what residents are relative have to say or had to say about his killing. Giovanni Dunkley of Nelson Street in Old Harbor, St. Catherine was shot and killed by the police during a confrontation which took place on Saturday around 4 30 pm now based on news report a police team was carrying out an operation in the bellas gate community of old harbor when they approached a shop and bar and they when they came under heavy gunfire by criminal elements now the police returned fire after shooting subsided Dunkley was found suffering from gunshot wounds. He was rushed to the hospital in Spanish Town where he was pronounced dead. Indicom is investigating this police fatal shooting. Now residents and also relatives had something different to say. Look at your screen right now now a resident said that this headline is a lie though he was innocent he was killed over mistaken id by the this headline is an insult to his family sleep in peace them went after him friend and shoot him by a mistake and made up the story to help with Indicom. That is what a resident said. Another message for relative was, them kill my brother for no reason at all. There was no shootout. Now, let me say this once again to the entire Jamaica and the world. Persons who are online and offline, Persons watching my video now and persons who will watch it later on or tomorrow, whichever day you call name it. I always say this, you know, whether you're innocent, if you hang around individuals who are criminal elements, you are guilty by association. I don't care if you're a friend of thief, murderer. If they are criminal elements and you hang around them, you are guilty by association. You cannot be innocent or law abiding and your friends with criminal element. I'm tired for thought this. When a person is innocent and law abiding, they do not keep friends or company or in a circle with criminal elements. I don't care if you and them are eat from one pot when you were children to teenagers. Now you are an adult. Once you're hanging around criminal elements, whether you are press trigger or not, you are guilty by association. And when you are guilty by association, it's actually a crime. Because if you're hanging with them 
and you know say they are gunmen and the rivals come on the scene and pull up and fire shots at the group that you're in more than likely you will be hit and killed because of the company that you keep and the police come on the scene you know and your friend who are murderers put up a resistance and fire the police and the police return fire and you are hit whether you are press trigger or not more than likely you will be killed it will claim to be innocent when you are hanging around with criminal elements even if you haven't killed anyone and you're innocent as you claim to be you are guilty by association just as how a friend or relative can hide a fugitive or a wanted man or woman they are actually harboring that fugitive and it's a crime and you can be prosecuted and placed behind bars before you come on social media and talk about relative innocent know the meaning of what an innocent man or woman is and also look up the meaning of law abiding when a person is law abiding they adhere to the rules and regulation of the land which means they do not associate or affiliate themselves with friends who are negative friends who are criminals now we head towards the parish of St. Mary where there is another fatal police shooting my word of a man known as Russian Lovelace who you see on your screen right now now this occurred on Saturday now based on news report questions are being raised on the fatal shooting of Mr. Lovelace which took place on Saturday morning to be exact now residents staged a protest outside Islington police station in St. Mary disputing the reports of the police the residents are saying that there was no shootout that was being claimed by the police that is 25 year old Roshane Lovelace otherwise called Spooky of Leyden Scheme in St. Mary now the killing of Lovelace was said to be a police chase when the cops ordered him to stop residents said that those involved were not involved in any crime and had no gun they were coming from a party saturday morning indicom is also investigating this fatal police shooting boy may i tell you indicom have them hands full now we head towards portland where this morning a man was killed by his co-worker at their workplace i'm wondering you know if jamaicans just get up and say today they're going to be dark and ignorant no conflict resolution whatsoever just straight for the kill now based on news report 33 year old brandon thompson a resident of seaview farm road in bonbrook in port antonio now around 5 45 a.m this morning brandon and a co-worker developed an argument at the carnation bakery in portland jamaica where 
the co-worker used a beer cream knife to inflict wounds to the neck of Brandon Thompson. Brandon Thompson collapsed and he was rushed to the Port Antonio Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now the suspect, who is a co-worker, was taken into custody and formally charged for murder. Dark, fool and ignorant. Now, you're going to go to prison for murder. At what cost? What was really going on? What could have caused you to use a knife to take the man's life? I bet you are over some petty things. But you know, Jamaicans are dark and ignorant. Everything them draw blood for. Them can't talk it out. They always want to war it out. Now, we head back towards Clarendon, where I made mention in previous videos of Debian Markland Barrett, who was killed not too long after her husband was murdered by criminal elements from Web Lane. Now, she was killed last week Thursday, and the police took a life of a man who is known as Troy Marsh, the brother of the Webley and Dan in Palmer Squares, Clarendon. Now, shortly after Troy was killed in a couple days or so, them start pre Debian Markland brother who them call Omar Cook, who is a known mechanic in Palmer's Cross. Now, yesterday afternoon, he was killed by men from Weblin in a reprisal for police taking the life of Troy Marsh, who is the brother of the Weblin Dan. Now, Omar Cook was at a garage along Palmer's Cross, working on a truck yesterday afternoon around 2 p.m. when men entered the garage and he was shot. He died at the Maypin Hospital. Now, Omar was warned. Miss Barrett's brother was taken out in a reprisal for the police slapping away the Webley and Dan's brother after Miss Barrett was murdered. Now Miss Barrett's brother was a good truck mechanic. He's a simple person and stayed out of everyone's business. He was warned to leave the area by the people who was concerned about his safety. See I tell you he was warned but he didn't leave because he said he don't do nothing to people. The man was so nice that even if he worked for you and you don't pay him on time, he will keep on working, Ja No Star. Now, Jamaicans, when residents tell you that you should leave and give you a warning, do not be a rebellious person. Pack your shit and leave. See there? Mrs. Barrett's husband was murdered. She next. Her brother saw was taking place and he did not heed the warning. And see there now? He's no longer among the land of the living. To other relatives, I hope you are taking this warning and leave ASAP. This is Jay Crazy. Until then, blessed and safe Monday evening.
Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow J Crazy not play with him and review the thing then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow J Crazy not play with him and review the thing then Review the thing then, review the thing then Jay Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing then, review the thing then Jay Crazy